What's going on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So today what we're going to be talking about is getting soil samples for your yard and really taking your yard to the next level. So this is something that you should do maybe year two or three into your lawn care program. After you've learned how to get your fertilizer thrown down, you're getting more into keeping your grass healthy all year round and you're really looking to really get just a step above anybody else that might have a green yard in your neighborhood. So the awesome thing about soil testing is you can send off a kit, it's not very expensive and you don't have to do it that much and it's gonna tell you exactly what your yard needs, when it needs it and how much of it that you need. So utilizing a soil test kit is the best way to really dial in all of your macronutrients and your micronutrients in your soil as well as being able to see the pH. So there's a kit on Amazon called Soil Savvy. I've used them before, but today I'm gonna to be using this kit from Yard Mastery. Yard Mastery is a website that is all about do-it-yourself. They've got all kinds of do-it-yourself products as well as these soil test kits. And the awesome thing about this kit is you can save every test onto their website. So if you ever wanna look back at it, if you do multiple yards or different areas of your yard, you can go ahead and make note of it online and then pull them up anytime you wanna look at them. So the best part about that is I can do my soil test now Go ahead and make any corrections that I need to this year, possibly next year as well. Get another test and then compare the two and see the difference between how the yard was and how it is now. So you know that you are doing exactly the right things for your yard. You're not putting too much down or too little down and you're getting it perfectly optimized for that dark green color all year round. So these kits are super easy. What you get in the box is gonna be the registration sheet that tells you the number that you're gonna register it online with a return package for the container that you're gonna put your soil in. And then it comes with this cup that's got the liquid and the little nutrient soaking ball in there. So this is where you're gonna put your soil. And then it also comes with a scooper so that you know how much soil you need to get. Kits like this just make it super easy to get testing done. Now I know if you live close to a university or some community colleges, they will be able to do soil tests for you. I'm not real sure about any of those because I've never done it before. I've always used a kit like this because it's just so convenient and you just order it, it comes right to your house, you send it off and you can get everything online. So the only two things you're gonna need is a Ziploc bag and just a little spade. So whenever you go out in your yard, you're just gonna dig a little circle, get down below the roots as good as you can, get a good clean dirt sample without any organic material in it so it doesn't throw off your readings. And what you wanna do is everywhere in your yard, you wanna take at least three or four even up to five, six, seven samples out of your yard to get the most accurate representation of what your yard needs. So what I'm gonna do today is actually two different sections since I've got the two kits here. So the section in the very back that I've been renovating that you guys have been watching, I'm actually gonna test it. So this year what I'm probably gonna end up doing is hitting the entire thing with glyphosate, killing it off, and as the grass is dying, I'm gonna go ahead and aerate and overseed. But before that time, I wanna get the soil in prime growing condition because we are on the downslide to summer now, and as soon as the temperatures start dropping down below the 80s, we'll definitely be hammering some seed out there. For my main part of the yard, it's more just a checkup. So it's been, I believe it's been three years. It might only been two, but I'm pretty sure it's been three years since I tested my yard. And since that time, it has stayed greener longer. It is healthier, it's thicker. And as of right now, towards the end of summer, I definitely have the greenest yard on the block. So basically all I wanna do is check up on everything, make sure my pH is still good, see if there's any little tweaks that I need to do just to maintain the level that I'm at. So now that you know a little bit about the kit, how it works, I'm gonna get out in the yard, collect the samples, and I'll show you guys how to mix them up, get them ready, put them in the thing, and get it ready for the mailbox. So with that, let's get started. So a lot of the stats you're seeing me pull out, this is actually dead Bermuda. So over the past few years, I've been slowly, slowly getting rid of the Bermuda mixed in with the fescue. So I've been spraying Ornamex over the top a lot of the times. I'll spray it at least twice a year in most cases. I haven't really been diligent with that the past couple years because we had our son and I just haven't had enough time to really get out here like I want to. 
but all of this stuff and you can see the leaves right here on the top of it it is mostly dead bermuda so it's getting so thatchy because this bermuda whenever the yard is thin it just snakes through everything so all it does is it tries to create roots between any of the fescue clumps that aren't super tight together well the thicker you get your yard all of that stuff is still there so now this year what's happening is instead of it actually growing up out of the ground and taking over my fescue it's stuck down here under the shade because we're mowing at four inches and it's shading a lot of the bermuda out so that shade is actually helping kill it it's basically soaking it to death it, it doesn't get any sunlight and of course bermuda needs all the sunlight you can give it so it's kind of a double-edged sword here and i think what i'm going to end up doing is having to actually get a mechanical dethatcher out here i do try to spray liquid dethatch on it and again the same way i don't get out here and do it enough and it does help but once it gets this thick there's really nothing you can do but actually mechanically remove that material so maybe this year if not possibly next spring and another overseed but again you know working in the yard you're kind of dictated by the weather and what kind of schedule you got so i'm doing whatever i can but as long as we're staying green that's the main thing like a, a finished section of your yard mixed with a section you're getting ready to work on because they're not going to be anywhere close to the same but over time as you keep adding stuff to the soil making it better amending it and you get another soil test in a couple years you'll be able to see if they're relatively close once you get to a level where the two are almost identical then you know okay i can go ahead and start just mixing my entire lawn together get a more broad program if that's what you want or continue to keep it separate that's kind of up to you depending on how you want your your yard to look if you have one section of your yard that is fescue and maybe another section that's bermuda or whatever the case may be you can always change up your strategy for your personal farm All right, so that's it for the main section of the yard. Now what I'm gonna do is grab my other Ziploc bag, swap it out, and I'm not gonna film this part just because it's gonna be the same thing, just digging a few holes. But I'm gonna go to that section above me there, get probably, I don't know, maybe three or four different samples. I'll probably go to each little section I have up there, dig those up and get those ready. And then I will show you how to prepare the kit. All right, so at this point you should have your bags of soil. So this is from my actual yard. This is from the backyard. So of course, make sure you don't get them confused. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. And all you really wanna do is just shake them up real good. Just mix up the dirt. That way you know the sample has a little bit of dirt from every single section of your yard. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You know, you've already picked out all the organic material, so you shouldn't get any like high amounts of nitrogen or anything crazy in your sample. If you do get a sample back that the nitrogen is like off the chart, most likely you didn't get enough of the material out or you missed like a big grass blade or a leaf or something, some kind of material that would throw the number way off. So once you've got your dirt mixed up, you go ahead and take your kit out. Again, don't lose this number because that's what you're gonna use to register it. Go ahead and take this. So it's got this little tab on it. You're just gonna break it like with your fingernail and that'll allow you to open it. And then once it's open, just take your scoop Go ahead and fill it to the top of the scoop. And I don't know if you're really supposed to pat it down, but I always do, just to make sure I get the scoop completely full. And if you see any more little roots, just, I'm slightly OCD, so I'll pick out a few of them. But you just take your scoop,
dump it into the water. Just make sure you get all the dirt off the top of the lid so it don't leak while it's in the mail. Just screw the lid back on real tight. And that's pretty much it. So once you've got your dirt in the little capsule, they want you to mail it within 24 hours just to make sure that it gets to the lab as quickly as possible before everything starts kind of breaking down in there. So once it's all in there, you know, just make sure it's good and tight. Make sure you, this number matches what you've got on the card, which it does. And then all you've got to do is put this bad boy in the package. Close it up. Put that sucker in your mailbox and wait for the result. All right guys, so that is all I have for this video. Definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button if you are interested in seeing the results. So it'll probably take a week, maybe two, in order to get the results and then make the video and post it. So I also did a soil test on my grandmother's yard, which I'm getting ready to do a full-fledged renovation on. That She just got a septic tank put in and 80% of her yard is mud right now. So we're gonna be filming that, going in, killing it off. And I'm still contemplating on what kind of grass seed I wanna put down. But once we figure that out, we'll go into that as well. So there'll be three different soil tests, all from the same area in North Carolina. And we'll be able to see how much soil varies, even in a very local region. Once we get all that done, so once we get all that done, I'll show you guys how I'll create a plan for each of the yards so that they stay nice and green in the long run. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.